pest. Water the potatoes at least once every three days. Do not step out of the village unless instructed to do so. Try not to eat canned food. They don't grow on trees. Potatoes, wild birds are your best nutrition. Ah, now I see why you saying shoot. you can shoot the wild birds. Uh, take two pieces of raven meat. Clean it with one bottle of vodka. Sprinkle with one motherwort leaves and roast on the grill over medium heat. Ah. Well, we don't have vodka. I can buy it, but we don't have motherwort leaves. There is a vodka leaves. behind the, um, the guy's house, the German guy's house. Oh, there is? Okay. Yeah. We'll get, we'll get vodka. Here's a shooting range. You gotta have vodka where you shoot, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you do. You do. Um... Uh, shit, I should have, I should have raided you. I didn't think about that. Doran. Nah, you're, uh, you're not cool in my book anymore, man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so canned goods are emergency food, basically. Yes, they are, Mel. Uh, which is a nice touch. Because you can, you can, uh, you can, uh, cook your own food in this game. Uh, like here, we just got um, we just got some meat off of a dead bird. So this is the recipe to cook it. Uh, all right, practice practice uh, only when he's not sleeping. Okay. Take one potato, roast it on the grill. Nice. Okay. Well, the good thing is that we have the recipes now, so we're good. Oh, we have vodka. We do have vodka. Okay, but we don't have the uh, the leaf. So, let's see. Where is the German's house again? <laughs> I'm sorry, Six. I'll be better. You can't find a leaf near the water. Near the, the water? Near the water. Oh, near the, um... The lake. Near, now. Okay. Yeah, no, where we have to go. Ah, here we go. Here's the vodka. Ooh. Oh, okay. There's nothing in there. Oh, well. Yeah, don't... You're big on survival shit, so it works with... Yo, Mal, this game would definitely be... Something for you, man. And it's on sale right now on Steam. I'm taking advantage. <laughs> uh, it's on sale right now. This is not a sponsored stream, by the way. This is me doing this for the love of the game. Uh, so... Alright, let's see. Let's save before we do this. And... Oh, well, let's store some shit in our locker. Oh, I sold that dude's gun. I was supposed to give him back the gun. Oh, well, okay. we'll, probably, we'll okay. probably get another Makarov or something. Uh, doesn't care about it. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't usually care about it. It's if you feel bad, if you feel bad for him, you can save him later. There's a way to. Okay. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for him. He's uh, seems like a cool guy. Uh, let's see. We're gonna put this here. Put all food there, as as you said before. Food does not rot. Let's take one of these just in case. And usually my only doctor gets to look up my alley. <laughs> what? <laughs> God damn it, Mal. I actually got to play this game. I had it installed for the longest time. Just haven't played it. Well, fucking play it, Doran. What are you waiting for? All right. And um, how's the battery on this? Okay, we're still good. So we're going to save. Um, we're not going to eat anything because we don't have to. Well, we got to bring up our energy, so we can eat this. Why not? And uh, let's save. What is it? One in the morning? Let's go in daylight. Let's go in six hours. Why not? Oh, it's raining. No. No. Okay, so it said main road and south. Again, yeah, you can turn on, turn off and on the headlamp. There's crouching too, you can get behind cover. There's no maps in the game, so you kind of have to pay attention to what they're telling you. You have the compass here, so. Although you might, you might, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, don't spoil it. I don't know if there's maps in the game or not, but I haven't found any maps yet. 
Oh, there look, are maps in uh, certain levels. Ah, there are maps in certain levels. Okay, there we go. Well, there's the potato farm. And these are the legionnaires, but we're not going to go there just yet. I want to do something else before we... Before we mess with them. I guess you're going to go try to steal the AK or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's going to help me. That, I, The first time I played this game, I did not do that. I tried to kill them all with the... Uh, with the uh, Makarov, it just didn't work. <laughs> um, okay, let's equip the crowbar. All right, we're gonna see some um, some melee uh, melee action here. Yeah, try both the the mouse button left and right, and also try. Uh, oh no 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 no! Oh my god! Ooh! Oh no! No no! Oh my god! What the hell's going on? Okay, hold on. Ah. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, combat is not as easy as it looks. Oh my god, we are, we're bleeding. Oh shit, I didn't kill that guy either. Wow. Okay, we are bleeding. Try the, um, the right, right mouth button attack. It's okay. More powerful. Oh, whoops, hold on. There we go. Oh, it pushes him back. Okay. Nice. There we go. Oof. Okay, we stopped the bleeding. Alright, so now let's loot. Alright, so these guys, um, they have uh, ingredients. These are ingredients for making serums, so that's always good to have. So yeah, Grim, these are the ghouls. Some scary shit in CJ. Yeah, they said it says that the church has been cleared, but I don't trust that. Yep, I don't trust that. <laughs> I don't trust that one bit. Actually, uh, there are uh, the fools that just live there, and there's also the fools that will pop out of the graves. Ah, uh, got gotcha. The ones that you're apt to kill are the ones that are already there. Okay. You don't have to worry about the ones in the graves. But they're just there to pull you. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's let, let's bring that here. Project Stockoid looking good. Yes. Hey, Grim. <laughs> Stop that. There's no blood suckers in this game. I hope. There we go. Oof. How's it going, Necro? Oh crap! Here's another. Oh, he's a runner. He's a runner. He's a runner. Oof. Stop it. Stop it. Stop that. Oh my god. Oof. Alright. <laughs> We're getting lots of ingredients. How's it going by you? I'm doing great, man. We're here just uh, chilling in some Tunguska. We got an uh, early access build. Uh, we're actually joined by the developer of the game, man. So if you have any questions about this game, feel free. He'll answer any questions you may have. Oh, oh, there we go. Uh, hello, hello, hello. There we go. <laughs> no. Oh my god, that was... <laughs> that's, that's scary, man. Melee combat is scary, dude. Oh shit, there's another one. Oh, oh my god, what the hell was that? Something happened there. Alright, we're probably gonna have to take a serum. Oof. Oh man, they just keep coming out. Oh wow. Oof. Alright, we're gonna need we're gonna need to take a uh well we could just heal. We just take a bread and heal. I get you something in the sleep by the empire. Yeah. Oh, I should have taken more food. Oh, well. Let's see. Bumps in 19th hole to you. 
Nah, that's tomorrow. Tom tomorrow's my turn to play golf. Uh, let's see. Alright, anybody else want to come out and play? Or is it... Are we done? Okay. I think we're done. Let's get some more ghost barley. Oh shoot, it says collected zero ghost barley seeds. Does that mean that I wasn't successful at picking them? Uh, sometimes it might happen to you. Ooh. Okay, so it's not guaranteed then. Ah. Interesting. Okay. I'm just gonna check in here, see if there's any food. There we go. Uh, what was that? Oh, that was gasoline. Okay. Nope, no food. Just, uh... We'll read the note. Oh, we found a detector. So here we have a detector similar to, um... To Stalker. Detects radiation. As yeah, this one is just, uh... For radiation only. Yeah, because I think you get another Not one much. that detects anomalies and... Or, yeah. sorry, distortions, yeah. Alright. Uh, needs a fire. Here we go. So let's eat. We need to heal up. Yeah, I need to sleep for at least four hours. Yeah, we'll sleep for a couple of hours. Let's get that good rest up there. <laughs> you get nothing. You lose. And, uh, well, at least we saved the game there because I know what's down here. But, um,. Yeah, I have the difficulty player damage all the way up, <laughs> as you said. Um, okay. All right, here we go. You want to read the notes. To whom this may concern, if you're reading this note, would you please help us? I'm sorry that you, have may, you may have stumbled upon my decaying body. My brother Igor, or Igor, uh, and I worked for the bootleggers, and we went on a delivery trip. On the way back, we were ambushed by a giant ghoul in the sewers. Igor was killed. I escaped from the sewers and locked up the hatch so the ghoul couldn't get out. But the church grounds were already overrun by them. My stomach is punctured, and I have no strength left to fight. I must take my own life before they tear me into pieces. We made some money from the delivery, 240 rubles from the sale, and our cut was 50. But they are all in Igor's backpack and he's still in the sewers. Can you help us retrieve the money and bring them to Dr. Sidor? As a token of gratitude, please keep our cut. Once Dr. Sidor receives his cut, he may gladly send our savings to our mother, the poor woman. She lost both her sons and I don't know how she will live the rest of her days. Thank you and be careful down there, Ivan. Well, we're going down there. Um... Yeah, this is where you, you want to equip your shotgun and then your pistol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's do that. <laughs> Darkness. We could turn on the light, but I think they'll detect us, right? If we turn on the light. Yeah. <laughs> snorks? No, this is worse than snorks, man. These things are fucking tanks. Look at them. They're like hulks with... Uh... <laughs> Look at their arms, dude. They have like huge ass freaking... Uh, well, they're called sights for a good reason. Necro, this game is super immersive, man. The ambient sounds, the music, the whole environment is just crazy. Okay. Or you can just run past them. No, I don't want to run past them. I tried that once. Oh shit. Okay. They found us. Nope. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Whew. Okay, one down. Where's the other one? There he is. Oh shit, run, 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 Oh my god. Oh, how many bullets can you take, bro? Oh, ow, that hurt. Oof. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, these dudes are freaking creepy. 
Yeah, um, I tried running past them. I was successful at one of my playthroughs, like the first parts. And then when I came back down, they were right there waiting for me. So I instantly died. Um, okay, we got the money. Now we got the money, and then you got the power. All right, so... And this part here introduces you to uh, moving anomalies, right? So right in front of my eyes, there was a peculiar glowing ball moving back and forth along a random path, pecking at metal objects with blinding arcs of electricity. Since I found it in a church, I decided to name it the Holy Spirit Distortion. <laughs> oh, boy. So this thing here. Consider no, no remorse and no regret. We don't care what you meant. Another day. Oh shit, I forgot we gotta kick these. We gotta kick the door open. Oh, there we go. The priest's journal. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so when uh, Kurt who's a developer he said there's a lot of reading in this game there is a lot of reading there's a lot of context though the reading is very immersive though i do have to say <coughs> oh boy went down the wrong Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> okay, so this is like the priest journal that talks about a serum. <clears throat> you did that twice today on stream? Was it with a Guinness or was it with a tea? This is a margarita, so it went down the wrong way. <clears throat> Alright, so now attempting to create a serum that can reduce the toxin in your body after being injured by the Tunguska ghouls. I believe the wolves have some special stuff in them that would help. The serum is almost looking perfect. <clears throat> the subject is showing increased activity 24 hours after injection and seems to have regained some cognitive abilities. Uh, the weather's really cold and I have no way of staying warm. There's clearly a lot of concentrated energies and the distortions outside the gas station. If I can only find a way to harness them. I have an idea. The air puff generated when they when they touches an um, any object can be used to push turbines in a generator. Okay. <clears throat> that will come in handy later. This... We can't open that. Okay. There we go. Is there anything in here? <clears throat> oh my god! Holy crap! <laughs> Did you put this in here for me? Is this uh? <laughs> Holy crap! Now we got a tactical vest. Yeah, you vest. Uh, unlock the stash, I think, and then this is <clears throat> what you get from the stash. Nice, because because this wasn't in the game before, right? This is something new that you put in here. Uh, yeah, the stashes. Nice. Yes, it's streamer loot, right, Melex? <laughs> oh, the Gatorade. <laughs> okay, it's a streamer loot. Um, okay. Nice. Uh, stash is random. <clears throat> stash is oh, so it's random loot every time. So the stash you had to discover them by kill, killing people. Um, I, I I think you might have gotten it from the dead guys in the village. Oh, that's why. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Woohoo! You've got a gun. <laughs> you can right-click the gun in the inventory to upload any ammo. Okay, yeah, we've been doing that. There's also a serum for higher arm strength, which reduces the recoil effect. Okay. Nice, so now we got an AK. So we're armored and we got an AK, primary weapon. Sweet. Let's use the AK, let's load it up. Look at us, look at us, look at this freaking thing. We're a true stalker Chad now. All right, let's go, we're out of here. Yeah, so you're probably right, I, uh, cause I don't remember seeing that stash before or anything so I'm like I went in there I was like alright let's check because if you put something new in there I want to see oh I forgot you could turn the lights off here uh, press X you doofus it tells you good things <laughs> there we go 
Okay. Uh, well, we don't have any more food, so... Uh, we can do... Alright. Because I know what's coming up after this. And I think I'd rather save. Well, we can save anyway. It's just it won't uh, heal our thing. Alright, let's just save. So yeah, in this game, there's only campfire saves. <laughs> Which is cool. Okay. Oh crap, we're at, um... What was it? Uh, if you go past 10 here, uh, you start getting, like, mutation effects or something? Mm, yeah. That's not Just good. A little bit. <laughs> We need bit. to, uh, we need to find a, a cure for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, Alright, so you said... Yeah. Be a while. <laughs> yeah, we have to find something there. Um... It is, um, yeah. It's okay, it doesn't really do much <laughs> harm to you right now. What, uh, sieverts? What? Are there positive and negative effects, or just the negative? Um... They're both. Serum, I guess. Yeah, the, oh, yeah. damn. Kevlar helmet. Wow, this actually... This is less, but we'll take it because... Oh, unit radiation is sieverts. Oh, okay. I thought it was, um... Uh, Rudgen. At least that's what... Anyway. I'm trying to see if there's any of that root that you were talking about earlier. Oh, no, it's not here. It's, uh, oh. it's in the village. Oh, it's yeah, in the village. Ah, oh, okay, okay. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to the... Let's go talk to the Legionnaires. So, Dr. Sidor has uh, told us to uh, tell these dudes to get the fuck out. So, we're going to go in reasoning with them. <clears throat> now, please tell me if this is familiar to you guys in Stalker. Sitting around the campfire playing guitar. <clears throat> I'm busy. Go talk. Go talk to the boss. <laughs> uh, if it wasn't for that scumbag Sidor, I would have already left this place with ten thousand, tens of thousands of rubles. Oruzio <clears throat> brau. Oruzio brau. Oh man, I love the dialogue here. Yep, they all say the same thing. All right, yep. Nobody wants to talk to us. <clears throat> so this is the boss, Chief Sergey. I mean, these guys, these guys look pretty friendly, don't they? I mean, <laughs> hey, what's going on, Jake? Welcome in, buddy. We're playing some Tunguska. We have the developer with us in the chat. If you have any questions about the game, feel free to ask. All right. Yeah, they're all doing. All right. So let's let's uh, let's let's keep doing this. <laughs> we can't keep delaying the inevitable. All right. Actually, I can just save right here. Save right here, so I don't have to come all the way back. Alright, here we go. Cool. Yeah. Ooh, look at all this vodka we can take. Alright, well first... <clears throat> You're not sure whether this man is happy or depressed. He seems to hide his feelings under the hat. But when he does look up, you see hatred in his eyes. Look at them eyes. <laughs> Sergei, yes! Sidor from Zernaskaya Village sent me here. He wants a potato farm back. You? You look like one of them bootleggers. Why are you working from him? for him? I suggest that you stay out of this mess. You might not know the whole story between us. Uh, <laughs> you'll have a screwdriver? Oh, man. That'd be nice. Screwdriver. All right. You? You? Oh, I read that already. What's the whole story? This whole area called Zernaskaya used to be a prosperous hub for all mutant hunters. They lived here, traded serums and ingredients, and prepared for the next adventures into the heart of the zone. All under our hospitality. We are the Legionnaires. Not sure if you've heard. 
We are we were known for providing warm beds, hot meals, and a feel of being at home to all the hunters. Sidor was the doctor in our clinic. We paid him well, but this man was nothing but a dirty cutthroat. Did he kill your clients? Worse than that, one day he figured out that alcohol was a hot commodity because it always it was always needed for producing serums. So he secretly distilled alcohol using our food supply and made a bunch of money. A wicked man with a lot of money. What do you think he would do? So Sidor raised an army of his own and he staged a mutiny, killed our leader Borovsky and took all our money and kicked us out of Zernaskaya. It took, a, it took us a lot of sweat, blood, and lives to reclaim the train station and the potato farm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sitter from Zernaskaya Village sent me here. He wants with it. Oh, okay. That's the, repeating the same thing. Okay. Well, uh, interview. All right. Me, I've had enough about the zone. If I hadn't lost everything to that scumbag Sitter, I'd already be home with my wife and kids by now. Living a comfortable life. Sidor's big pharma. Though letting you create screwdriver, but couldn't find a way to put, get oranges into the game with a plausible reason. <laughs> That's a good one. CJ, you would have had your screwdriver in the game. Well, CJ, if you can figure out a lore-friendly way to get oranges into this area, tell, uh, tell Rotorist. He can, uh, he'll, he'll see if he can implement that. <laughs> um... I'd be home with my wife and kids by now. I don't know. This dude just seems really suspect, doesn't he? You could have put canned tomato juice in and made Bloody Mary. Oh, I would go for Bloody Mary right now. The whole area. Calls in the sky. Used to be a prosperous... Okay, we already did that. Okay. So the only option that we have is to... For him to surrender. Last time I checked, citrus doesn't grow in Siberia. <laughs> you can put a Bloody Mary into the game? Wow, dude. <laughs> I would love to have a Bloody Mary in this game. <laughs> Alright. Surrender. It seems like Dr. Sitter is dead set on getting his potato farm back. Would you consider a peaceful surrender? Uh, surrender? For what that bastard has done to us? It would take a lot to make me even remotely consider that. How would I explain it to my boys? I'm too scared to sit or let's head home? Would you at least retreat from the farm for a day or two so I can report back to Dr. Sitter and complete my job? I'd offer you 500 rubles. 500 rubles. Are you sure you have that kind of money? What do you say? Do we pay him or do we not pay him? Do we tell them to go fuck themselves and kill all of them? Because that's what Sidor wants us to do. He wants us to, uh... He wants us to, uh... To kill, uh... To kill all these people. And this dude seems kind of suspect. What do you guys think? Should we pay him off? Or should we kill him all? I think I remember what happens either way, but it's interaction. We don't know. We don't know, Malvin. We don't know. We don't know. It's his word against Doctor Sitter, but Doctor Sitter so far has has been good to us. This guy over here, all of a sudden, he's just basically saying that everyone who's not them are a bunch of pricks. And there's one thing though, these guys are dressed like the dudes that attacked the village earlier. They all have, you know, leather jackets, they're dressed in black, they have masks on. What faction in Stalker do these guys remind you of? Well, we have the money, but you know what? I think we're going to tell him no, that we don't have that kind of money. 
Or we can say yes. What do you guys think? Should we should we pay him? See what they do? See if they leave? Because if we say no, we're probably just going to have to kill him anyway. But this would be an interesting option, wouldn't it? Usually fight for the underdog unless it's an underdog with rabies. So you, if these guys seem suspect, side with Sitter. Well, let's pay him. Let's pay him. Let's see what happens. Because if we say no, we're probably going to have to fight them anyway, right? But let's see what happens when we say pay. Dog places.